Okay, our third skill, which we are again going to use GeoGebra for, and again, the GeoGebra link right back here, calculator suite for GeoGebra. That's our graphing calculator link. We already know how to plot points. In the last lesson, we talked about how to find the steepness. Now, you might be thinking, oh, all those steepnesses, it's getting in the way. It's making everything uh, a little bit cluttered. We'll go back to the algebra tab and tick on those blue circles. You will notice that takes it away, cleaning up the view. What we want to do now is find the length of a segment. Once again, tools. So there you're going to find the distance between two points. There it is. We're measuring the distance. Click on distance and it says select two points. I click on A. I click on B. I know that length of AB is 28.84. I'm going to do the same thing between B and C. That has a length of 40.79. Click on A. Click on C. 28.84. Well, now, since I know I've got two sides that are the same length, I have a special kind of triangle. What kind of triangle has two sides the same length? Isosceles. Rion knows. Good. So now you've identified it. To get it to merit, is this a right angle triangle? It looks like it. So if we were to take the gradient, which we did in the last lesson, this gradient was, let me see, I forgot what it was. Angle, area, there we go, slope. Click on slope. That's a gradient of 1.5. That one has a gradient of negative 0.67. If you time those together, you do get negative one, proving we've got an isosceles right angle triangle. That'll get you to your merit. Just make sure you show your mahi to support it. Again, thanks for watching. Maori mahi, Maori ora, kakiteano.